Hey everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the better sprinting mod in Minecraft 1.16.5 We're going to be going over every single step of getting better sprinting in 1.16.5 And just, we're going to be covering it all in this video Now, what is better sprinting? Well, it allows you to set sprint keys that you can tap or hold in order to sprint, right? Normally, you have to hold to sprint in Minecraft This allows you to simply tap and be able to keep sprinting And you can toggle keys for sprinting and sneak you can turn off the option to double top, tap W. Some people find that annoying. If you want to turn that off, you can. Option to configure sprint in all directions. However, that is only for single player. And then configuration speed boost when flying in creative. So spectator mode, I'll also add that in single player as well. And option to continue flying when touching the ground, also in single player. So really cool stuff. And overall, one of the cooler sprinting mods out there. It's been around for a very, very long time. And it's been a very, very long time since we did a video on it. So that's why we're here today. Now, one thing I do want to mention, right, to turn on and open up this menu as you can see, to configure the mod, click better sprinting and controls, press the configuration key in the game, and that is just O. The O key on your keyboard will open that up. But unless, first of all, we do have from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can start Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour denotrected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. But if you want to start your very own server, Apex Minecraft Hosting is the perfect place for you. Again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Better Sprinting installed. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and it's going to take you here. This is Better Sprinting's official download page, and once you're here, you can read through all this. If you want to know some of the features and things like that But come over here to the right hand side Scroll down until you find Minecraft 1.16 And then find this release under it Now it does say 1.16.3 But guess what? 1.16.3 Better Sprinting works in 1.16.5 So we're going to go ahead and click on the orange download button to the right of that And then go ahead and start the download after a few seconds Automatically in the bottom left So boom, downloading now and in the bottom left We have Better Sprinting We're going to go ahead and click Keep on that It's 100% safe You will need to save it in the server screen as well By clicking Save on Mozilla Fire Firefox. Google Chrome, keep it in the bottom left on Mozilla Firefox, save it in the center of your screen. Now, moving on to Forge, we do need Forge because Better Sprinting is a Forge mod. To download Forge, you want to go to the third link down below. Yes, so that's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide for Forge. I'm going to be going over the basics of Forge in this video, but if you do have any issues, you can come here to our more in-depth tutorial, and it will kind of cover everything for you. Nevertheless, once you're here, go and click on this green Download Forge button. That will take us off to Forge's official download page, where we want to make sure MC 1.16.5 is selected. It's not, though, is it? That's 1.16.4. To do this, we want to go ahead and come over here to the left-hand side, click on, make sure plus 1.16 is clicked there, and then click on 1.16.5. Then we'll see MC 1.16.5 appear here, where we can go into download latest and click on the installer button. Then it takes off to add focus, where stop! Do not click anything on this page. Do not click a single button on this page whatsoever, except the red skip button in the top right. Again, the only thing you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right that appears after about 10 seconds on the page. Once you click on that red skip button in the bottom left, Forge will appear. It should say Forge 1.16.5. Go ahead and click keep on that. You also want to save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox as well. Go ahead and save it there if you're on Mozilla Firefox. Again, as long as it has Forge in the title. Finally, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Here at the desktop, we have the Better Sprinting mod and we have Forge. These are on your desktop. No worries. They're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. Go ahead and type in downloads to this downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that and in here you will find Forge and Better Sprinting. Drag this to your desktop just for ease of use. Once you've got these on your desktop, we can go ahead and start off with Forge. Go ahead and right click on it, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java or your files look weird. They don't look like mine. They look like WinRAR files or zip files or something like that. What do you do in that case? Well, in that case, you need to come here and download this. This is Java for Minecraft mods. Better Sprinting being a Minecraft mod, it will allow you to, or you need this in order to install Better Sprinting. So come through here and download this if you don't have Java to open Forge with or if your files look weird. Now, after this, you should be able to open up Forge, but just in case you can't, you might need to run the jar fix. This will for sure fix those files and make them work with Java and make them look like my files, uh, making basically them no longer work with WinRAR. So what it does is take all the .jar files from your computer and link them back to Java, right like so. Nevertheless, we can finally minimize our browser, right-click on Forge in our desktop, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the mod system installer for Forge here, where we just want to click on Install Client and click OK. That's then going to download, set up, do some things, make some things work, install Forge, and everything will work without any issues. Unless you've never played Minecraft 1.16.5 before. If you haven't, you need to go play that with no mods or anything like that. Come back, and this will work. Finally, we can go ahead and click on OK here, and it will close out of the mod system installer for Forge. We can delete Forge from our desktop 
it's time to install Better Sprinting. To get started with that, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And before you go ahead and hit that play button, hold your horses, what we need to do is go ahead and make sure Forge is selected. Now, ours is over here, but if yours isn't, go ahead and click on this drop down box and select Forge. Now, as long as it says 1.16.5 dashboards under it, go ahead and click play. But what if you don't have Forge? If you don't have Forge, here's what you do come up here to the installations tab. And first, make sure under versions on the right hand side here, modded is checked. If modded isn't checked, Forge won't appear. As you can see it disappears. Click modded, boom, there it is. If that's the case and you have Forge 1.16.5, go ahead and click on play. But if you still don't have Forge, even after clicking modded, what you want to do is go ahead and click on plus new. And then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible server. We have custom skyblock with amazing minions, custom challenges, and an awesome storyline. Truly incredible storyline. Custom generators, so much more. Mob coins, it's truly amazing. Come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. For the versions, go ahead and click on that and then scroll down until you find Forge or release 1.16.5 dash Forge, I should say. For me, it's at the top. Yours may be at the very, very bottom, but just scroll through here until you find it and then click on release 1.16.5 dash Forge. Now let's go ahead and change our resolution. You don't have to do that, but we're making a video here. I want you to be able to see once we get in game. Then we can go ahead and click the green create button. We now have this play.breakdowncraft.com profile. Under it, it says 1.16.5 dash Forge, so we can hover over and click the green play button. Now we open up this. This is basically a warning saying you're about to play modded Minecraft. You know that. You know what you're doing because you're watching this video. So let's go ahead and click on the checkbox there and click play. Now it's going to open up Minecraft 1.16.5 with Forge. And at this point, the hard part's over. It's super easy to install better sprinting from this point. It's literally just dragging and dropping and restarting Minecraft. It's that simple. So I'm going to go ahead, let Minecraft open up, and I will meet you on the main menu. So as promised, here we are on the Minecraft main menu. And from here, we want to click on the mods tab. So on the main menu, click on mods. And then in the bottom left, you have this open mods folder button. Go ahead and click on that. And what I say, clicking a few buttons and then dragging and dropping. So we just want to take better sprinting from our desktop and drag and drop that into our mods folder. The last part of this is coming back to Minecraft and seeing better sprinting isn't there. To fix that, you want to go ahead and click done. You want to quit the game again. And now you want to open Minecraft back up. But, 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 be careful, be careful, because you still have to open up Minecraft with Forge. So that's going to either be the Forge profile here or the one you created in our case, play.breakdowncraft.com. But again, as long as it has 1.16.5 dash Forge under it, you're going to click on it and click play. Now, Minecraft 1.16.5 is going to open up with better sprinting installed. You actually see that here. There it is, better sprinting 1.16.3. But as we know, the 1.16.3 version works on 1.16.5 without any issues, as I said, on the front end of this tutorial. But nonetheless, we're just kind of waiting here, waiting for Minecraft to open up, get everything set up, get the the uh, better sprinting mod installed for us. And then once it's installed, we'll be able to show it off in game, specifically show off the menu. It's a little bit hard to show off this mod because, uh, well, it's all about keyboard and I don't have a way to record my keyboard. So maybe I should fix that, I guess. I don't know. But nonetheless, here we are in game. We click on the mods tab here. We'll be able to see there is better sprinting. It is working. We go ahead and jump into single player. I'm just going to jump into this world. I know what I'm doing. That's fine. And in this world, we'll be able to go ahead and open up the menu for better sprinting. So that's kind of how that works. So anyway, I'm going to let this world load up. I will see you once we are in game. So here we are in game. Um, I actually, I, I need, I meant to do time set day. And also I'm, I'm going to turn up my render distance a little bit. I know this has nothing to do with a better sprinting tutorial, but I just feel like I need to do that. All right. So here we are. If we go ahead and hit O on our keyboard, here is the sprinting. As you can see right now is left control. Being able to change this is one of the biggest benefits of this mod. What do you have to tap to turn on sprinting? So if we go ahead and turn it to a V, for example, now if I press V on my keyboard, I can go ahead and start sprinting. And then if I tap it off, it stops and so on and so forth, right? Pretty simple stuff allows me to rather easily start sprinting around and stop sprinting around. Now, there's other stuff in here, though. Do you want to be able to double uh, double tap? Also, holding shift plus G. I don't know what that does. What, what, what is shift plus G? I don't, I don't know what that one is. Oh, it holds stink, sneak. So if you go ahead and press shift plus G, no longer. I'm still stinking in game, right? But I don't have it selected. And if I hold shift plus G again, it turns that off. So awesome stuff there. Run in all directions. So we can go ahead and press V. And now we're running in all directions. Press V again. It turns it off. Hold on, turns it off, press V again, and we are running. So um, yeah, pretty cool stuff, pretty simple stuff there. And you can play with around with all these settings and do what you want to do. You can turn auto jump on and off, all of that stuff. And yeah, it's a pretty cool mod. And there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. But enjoy the better sprinting mod. It is one of the cooler utility mods because it allows you to do so much better with sprinting. But anyway, my name is Nick again. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.